Okay, so let's see how to replace the valve cover gasket on this Mazda 2. First we have to remove this dirty cover out of here. You've got four clips around here. Just press them out. So let's take a Phillips bit and remove these two plastic screws. If they are already rounded up, then warm up the bit and place it on the screw. Okay, just like that. You can see it perfectly fits in there. Now for the connectors, you gotta press on this clip like that. Next, remove this hose clamp, which holds this cover on. Unplug the mass airflow sensor. Next, the air filter box is hold it on by three bolts. So use your 10 millimeter. For the last one, you need a short socket. And the cover will come out. Now, if you have a look on the passenger side, you're gonna see the crankshaft position sensor, which is attached to the valve cover. So let's unplug it. Okay. Now you've got also a camshaft position sensor. So what are left are the coil packs and the wiring harness for the coil packs. Also this vacuum line. Down there we've got a small plastic clip. Let's press on it so we can release the wiring harness. Like that. And the wiring harness together with the coil packs are free. And now the valve cover is free of attachments so we can begin to remove it. Now we got to find a safe point where we can pry it out. So this is a good point. This is on the exterior and you press as well on a piece of metal, which is not sealing. So like that. Here are all the bolts and let's see this cover should come out. And you can see here the camshaft position sensor is going to read this special rotor. So that's how the computer will know the timing of the engine. So let's take out the old gasket. Now on the surface where the new gasket will sit, we're gonna give it a nice clean. So the gasket can seal. There is some old gasket maker on the edges here. Now I have to admit this valve cover looks very good. It's clean, there is no sludge or anything. So let's go ahead and put the new gasket on. It goes only one way, so just place it around the edges here. Now you can see if the new gasket will fit, because sometimes they are making it a little bit longer or shorter, or depending on how much you pay for the valve cover gasket. This one looks good, it is matching. Okay, the new gasket is on, everything is clean in there, so let's put the cover. Now, make sure that the gasket doesn't fall when you turn the cover upside down. Now, if you have a mirror with a light like that, just inspect and see if the gasket sits nice, because obviously you don't want to do this job two times and insert the bolts. Now let's torque them down in sequence to 10 foot pounds. We're gonna start from the middle and make our way to the edges. Okay, so now from this point it's time to put everything back and this job is gonna be done. 
And now let's tighten the coil packs to 7 foot pounds. So that's how we replace the valve cover on this Mazda 2. Thanks for watching. If you have this car, go ahead and check out the other videos in the playlist. And until next time, drive safe so I can see you in the next video.